Well, here's the problem. Rain's coming soon, and I've got the trailer body completely finished, and the roof is on, but one of the doors is cut, and I don't have the door ready to put in it. Nor do I have an awning up, but I do have some awning rail, and I want to try to use that with a tarp to make a some kind of a canopy or covering or basically a poor man's awning. So let me see what I can do here. Okay, here I've got a chunk of the standard awning rail that I'm using. It's got a gutter and this channel here that's usually used on a standard awning fabric. And the way it works is you slide, now this is just a tarp, but you slide it down through the end. It's got a bigger uh, cord right here, which I think is called a welt or a spline. We even, even heard it called a keter or something. And uh, I don't have an awning, so I can't use that. And I am using a tarp. And one of the solutions I've seen uh, out there, and even I've seen some versions of this being sold, is that you take a you take the channel and you utilize the channel with a piece of rod and some shock cord and you put it in the channel and this ball attaches to your tarp. Let me demonstrate that real quick here. You slip this part in here and then you have to slide it all the way down to where you need it. So that, that's one problem, is it's a little bit harder to install. Uh, you can't just put the points where you want them right away. And the other thing is, even with as tight as you can possibly be with this sort of a setup, you still have a bit of a gap in here and this will flap and what happens is water is going to get down through there in the gap and it's going to get wet where you don't want it to be wet. So. The solution I'm going to propose is to make a type of hook that you can drop in on any point on the track that holds the tarp closer to the roof. And any water that gets under the tarp will end up in the channel of the gutter. And most of the water is just going to flow over the top, of course. So, I have a sort of a mock-up here. It's a very crude idea, but the idea is to drop a hook in. Somehow it snaps in, and then the grommet on the tarp slips over that. So with that, I'll head into the computer and uh, work up a prototype that I can 3D print in PLA, and we can so take here is the design I came up with for the hook. First I took my track, my awning track, and measured it up with the micrometer and came up with this part. The idea here is that it hooks underneath here and snaps in right there. It all works right. The grommet on the tarp will slide down onto it right here. So I'll 3D print that and hopefully it will do what it's supposed to do or what I want it to do. All right, here I've got Kira pulled up and four parts loaded onto the table and they're ready to send over to the printer bot here. Okay, these prints look pretty good. Let's see if it fits in the track. I'll try the first one here. You can kind of see there. 
you can see it's a good fit. It snaps on, pulls out, snaps on rather. And then snaps off. Yeah, this will be good. Okay, so it's raining and here I am with the new hooks. I'm going to pop them in here. Hopefully they'll fit right in. I expected that one worked well. Okay, these are definitely a little harder to snap in outside in the rain, but got it on there. This would be a good fit. And like I wanted, I got the edge of the tarp up tight against the roof so that any wire that goes down will just end up in this gutter here. So I'm moving right along. Okay, so snapping in the next tarp hook here. Snap. Put the tarp on it. One last hook to get in here. Snap. Put the grommet on. And we'll tie it off here. Keep a little tension on the tarp. Say it worked. We'll let the rain come and do its business, and then we'll come back and look and see if it's holding up. Okay, this is looking pretty good. I can barely see daylight up under there, and it's all dry here. It's been raining for a couple hours, and it's holding up really well. These hooks are pretty, pretty solid. Okay, so I like this part. I made some more of them in red. It's got a real uh, easy to install snapping function. It's made out of PLA, so hopefully that'll hold up over time. We'll see. I can always use different material. Um, also, it accomplished getting the tarp closer to the roof. You see, I can hold the tarp up higher now, and also there is room to tie another cord if need be. So overall, I would just recommend that to anybody who's got a 3D printer and 3D software, 3D modeling software, and the need to uh, attach hooks to an awning rail.